Rose, it's the problem with these rappers. You don't know how to play it cool, you know? I mean, there's a time and place for everything. Been thinking about you all day. Right now. I'm just so excited for you to have Three Kings because you're working with all legends on this. How does it feel now that uh, you look back at it? You're like, yo, I got Dr. Dre and Jay-Z on a record. Uh, and even more importantly, I feel like we was unifying the game with the West Coast, East Coast, and down South at one time. And it was just everybody, you know, repping their side and doing what they do, you know? Yeah. Were you nervous at all? when that moment came when they were like, yeah, let's do a record together? No, I wasn't nervous. I was really just, you know, if anything, I was just excited, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he's the, he the greatest producer in the mm -hmm. history of hip-hop, rap, music, however you want to label it. And, you know, I've been a fan for ever, you know, forever, yeah. straight up and down, you know what I'm saying? So just to get to, you know, sit, you know, watch him turn those knobs and listen to, you know, a lot of music and we create a lot of music. It was, you know, something I most definitely would never forget. Did you guys actually record it together or, or was this pieced, you know, in different studios? No, nah, me and Dre, we recorded it in Miami and, you know, Jay did his part in whatever part of the world he was in. Did any of, like, the the old memories of Dr. Dre most run through your... Most definitely, most <laughs> definitely. You know, that was those were some of the first questions I asked him was, yeah. you know, just going back because I really feel like... Um, Artists no longer do skits because Dr. Dre skits <laughs> was just so great on, yeah. on the chronic and you know what him and Snoop Dogg did on Doggy Style and yeah. what he did with Eminem and it was just like, you know, just the small things, you know, just paying attention to the smallest of details and that's what it basically boiled down to. He just put that much time into each record. Did you really sign Trina to the music group? Because that was like a rumor going on, and I wanted to know this because that's what was lingering on the internet. No, no, I haven't. I haven't signed Trina yet. Or we haven't done a deal yet. I was actually in the studio with Trina, ah, maybe okay. um, two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? And she was playing me a lot of her new music, and um, her and Meek Mill did a collaboration, and me and her did a collaboration. So. It was just in the studio. We was just kicking and having fun. And I, cause yeah, we got a little bit of, you know, we got jealous over here cause we heard you got her Maybach. So is that true at all? That I got her you, a Maybach? Yeah, that you gave her like as like a bonus signing deal. And we kind of got jealous here. Oh, so yeah. we wanted to know, did you really get her a nah, Maybach? No, nah, we haven't yes. done a deal yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I heard that um, you have a record with Mariah Carey. I was reading up on the internet that there's going to be a record with you and her MTV. It was actually on MTV, yes? Is that? Yeah, yeah. What it is is actually Mariah Carey first single. Ugh. Yeah, from her new album. I'm featured on it as well as Meek Mill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for now, she Mariah Maybach, you know? <laughs> is this crazy for you that just... Did you ever see your life coming to this point where you're working with straight-up superstars? Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Mariah Carey. It's most definitely, it's, it's, it, of course I can't say I would have, you know, but this is what I most definitely work for. You know, if I, yeah. if I couldn't say that I seen me working with Dre because that's Dr. Dre, <laughs> that's man, Dr. you know what I'm saying? Dre, yeah. But it's something that we most definitely grinded for, and believe it or not, we still grinding. We're yeah. still out here. Who's your dream collabo, dead or alive? It most definitely would have been Dr. Dre involved, um... Tupac and Big. Wow. Yeah. What a dream. Yeah. How about your top five favorite rappers, dead or alive? You know, just based on the impact alone yeah. that they had on on the culture and the community, you got to say Tupac and Big, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, off front. Then you got to say, um, you got to say Jay-Z. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And then me, being the, the hustler that I am, I'm going to say Bird, man, just for just for his legacy and the brand that he built and the business that he conducted for him to be on um, the solar 100 million mm -hmm. records and still going. And then I'm going to say Puff Daddy. What does Rick Ross like to spend his money on the most? Real estate. Yeah? Yeah. You know, that's, you know, when you when I when I scream boss, I mean, I know it sound cool, but I really mean it, you know what I'm saying? So being a boss, you know what I'm saying, and building a brand, you got to really invest and I think the first thing we all got to invest in is ourselves. Mm. 
do you have a girlfriend right now? No, you know what I'm saying? I just live that, that life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right when we hear that, just so you know, that scares every girl off. Like, he living that life? Yeah, yeah. What does that it, mean? <laughs> you know, ladies, I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We want to know kind of like the girls that you're into. Like we're talking about straight physical looks. We're not talking about personalities or anything like that. Okay. So I'm going to name you a couple names and you tell me if they would ride in the Maybach with you. Okay. If they, if they cool. get the super VIP, you know, treatment with you. Okay. Cool. So Nicki Minaj. She could ride. All right. Lady Gaga. She could ride. <laughs> How about Katy Perry? She could ride. <laughs> How about Rihanna. She could ride. Ah, all right. How about Mariah Carey? Minus Nick Cannon if she was never married. She could ride. Jennifer Lopez now that she's single. She most definitely could ride. <laughs> And how about Oprah? Most definitely could ride. <laughs>